Hello, my name is Chris Von Kamel. I'm from the U.S. and I volunteer in the community hospital in Kathmandu. Uh, the local coordinator is great. The meals here are great. The accommodations are great. The local coordinator is very knowledgeable. He'd be able to help you if you're trying to plan a trip or if you wanted to know a place to eat where you worked or if you wanted to know the best shops to go to or a fair price that taxi should offer. He was very helpful on getting the best deals and everything like that. All the food was great. It was very authentic Nepalese food. Uh, you get meat about once or twice a week, and then everything else is pretty common. It's like dal bhat, uh, various veggies, different spices, and everything like that. The most surprising thing I experienced here was kind of just how uh, rural some parts of it are, and how lacking the infrastructure is. Like the roads and the buildings are very dilapidated. There's a lot of construction going on, so it's very dusty, and uh, there's a lot of pollution. I definitely advise bringing a mask because of that. Another thing that very, really surprised me is just how generous and kind-hearted all the Nepalese I met. Like various times I've been stopped and people would offer to buy me lunch or bring me tea and just like talk with me. So it's very cool. Um, I've traveled in Asia before so I didn't think it was very difficult being here. Kind of knew what to expect. It wasn't anything very difficult at all. Tips for future volunteers. I brought a lot of like shorts and t-shirts for like uh, athletic purposes and I thought I'd be using them. I didn't at all, so I advise saving space in your suitcase. But beyond that, I advise visiting Nagarko and Pakara. Both are beautiful, very fun places to go to. Other things volunteers should know is that there isn't very much for you to do in the hospital and you kind of have to just accept that there aren't very many actual responsibilities for you to have. It'll be more that you're observing the doctor and shadowing him doing various things. I was able to see several surgeries so I got very lucky in that regard. I saw um, a cholecystectomy, fluid being drained out of the stomach, and various citrings of wounds. Uh, and the hospital is also just very slow paced compared to like a hospital in America or a different Western country. It's smaller and it just, it's just, it's a different experience, but it's a good one. Uh, I fell in love with Nepal because of the vibrancy of Kathmandu, the beautiful of Narco and just how like lively the car was. I definitely advise traveling around while you're here, not just staying in cabin duty because you get a better picture of the place. I missed out on the fact that I didn't really get to go trekking, so if you're here for longer, I definitely advise trying to book it, even if it's only for a weekend or something. Everyone I've met has loved it so far. Like I've said before, meals are great, security was not an issue. I never felt threatened or like I had to be worried about something. My favorite memory of the trip was going to Bacar with a, another group of volunteers I met uh, for New Year's. They have a huge festival and we were able to go clubbing. We went to a couple of concerts and we went like floating around the lake and paragliding. It was very fun. I don't have any comments or complaints about the information I received. The of you did a great job keeping me updated and informed on what to expect and how I arrived here. Thank you and I hope you enjoy your time in the mall.